I'm Levi Jaster, and I am the Big Game Program Coordinator for the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. Uh, I recommend that everybody test their deer, and I'm here to, to show you an easy way uh, to collect material you need for testing. Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab YouTube channel. The Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism cautions against eating any diseased wildlife. They strongly recommend that hunters test their deer for CWD, especially if hunting in an area where CWD has been found. Since you can't visually tell if a deer has CWD, laboratory testing is necessary. If your deer is positive for CWD, do not consume it. This video will show you how to remove lymph nodes immediately after harvest, simply using a hunting knife or pocket knife. A Ziploc bag or a jar of 10% buffered formalin is all you need to submit your sample. A kit containing formalin filled jars can be ordered from KSVDL prior to hunting. The lymph nodes that we need for testing are located in the deer's throat. With the head positioned upside down, locate the Adam's apple or trachea. Cut through the Adam's apple all the way to the two shiny bones where the head joins the neck. The lymph nodes we want lie immediately in front of those two conspicuous bones. It is sometimes necessary to cut away muscle that may be covering the lymph nodes in order to expose them. Remove both the left and right lymph nodes. Lymph nodes should be firm and smooth. Don't confuse them with salivary glands, which are softer and look like a collection of lobes. Place the lymph nodes in a Ziploc bag or a 10% buffered formalin jar. Refrigerate the fresh tissue and ship on cold packs overnight. Please avoid freezing if possible. You can contact KSVDL to have a UPS shipping label sent to you through email. For more information on this procedure or any other tests that we offer, contact KSVDL Client Care.